Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, we'll examine the image related objects picture, SVG, lines, shapes, and polygons. The image object can display images. You can load an image into it, and it will be saved in the report template file. Or you can display a picture from the database. This report demonstrates the second option, but I will show you both of them. We have two data tables. The employee one has a photo of every employee, and the categories one has a product photo for each category. We can display all the employees and their photos using the picture object. We will drag and drop the last name and photo fields, and the engine will create objects to display them. And just by that, we made a simple report with images. This picture object here displays a photo from the data table, and there is no preview in the designer because of that. In this database, the image is stored in Base64 encoding. Besides that, it can be in byte array format, or alternatively, you can store a hyperlink to the image. On the first page, you can see the different options that you can apply to an image. There are different size modes. Auto size will scale the object to the image's size. Normal will display the image in the top left corner. Zoom will scale the image to the object size while preserving the aspect ratio. Stretch will do the same without preserving it. And Center won't change the image's size and display it in the object center. There is also rotation to any angle and settings for transparency. And we will touch on those a bit later. You can load an image into the picture object, either from file or from your clipboard. Into the already created object or creating a new one. You can see this object's preview in the designer, and you can edit it in this editor. The image stored in this object will be modified after you press OK. So, if you would want to revert the changes, be sure to keep the original image. So, let's look at the transparency. Here we have two circles on a white background. If we set the transparent color to white, the background will become transparent. And if we set it to black, the black circle will become transparent. After that, there is a SVG object. You can load any SVG image into it. The contents of that image file will be stored in the SVG string property of the object. It has size modes, like the regular picture object and also the same editing options. Next, there are two objects that can be used to construct your report's visuals. Line object and shape object. You can add different types of lines from this menu, but that's the same type of object with different parameters. By default, this line can be vertical or horizontal, but you can enable the diagonal property and then it will become unrestricted. Then, there are a few types of caps for each end of the line. And there is the shape object. There are five kinds of shapes that are supported right now. And just like any property in Fast Report, they can be changed dynamically. I've made a simple script that cycles through the available shapes. We'll set the cursor to hand when it's above the shape object and create a click event handler. Now, when we click on this object in the preview, its shape will be switched. Now we will look at a couple of objects that can be considered the improved versions of the previous two. Polyline and polygon objects. In the previous versions, those objects had an editor that looked like this. And in FastReport 2019.4, they got an update. Now the editor is located in the toolbar. The point placement now has a preview, and now you can set up Bezier curves. You can press this button, and it will display and allow you to edit all the curve points that were added before, and this button allows you to add curvature to a line. All of the polygons support border and fill options. So this was all for this video. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description, you can find a link to the fastreport.net objects playlist.